Hello and welcome to the break even point add-ons video. In this video we'll be going over how to use the break even point add-on. Like all other add-ons you can find them within the add-ons tab within the knowledge base under break even point indicator here. Simply download the jar file and follow the installation process. Once you've had that installed go over to the add-ons page and you can see the break even point add-on here. Now this is broken up into the break even point tab and the commissions tab. Make sure to always include commission as this will give you the most accurate and wholly true in terms of profit and loss as each exchange or brokerage takes different commission either per contract, per order or a percentage of the order. For instance, finance futures take 0.08% taker and maker, give or take. Onto the break even point tab, you have a line width and two colors respectively for long and short. And also a check mark for either resetting on zero or not resetting on zero. What this will mean is if I were to check mark this on, it will treat each new trade as an independent event. Unchecking this will make sure every event within a session, so however long you have bookmap open for, a concurrent event. I like having this unchecked as it will track your total PL across a trading session. This is much more useful when you are like, trying to account for how much loss you want to actually sit through before taking a hit. Let's get started with trading now. Let's say I wanted to enter into a sell position here for 10 contracts on the Bitcoin USDT pair. Go ahead and press play on the replay mode and as you can see I get checked in and now I just wait and see. The moment I enter into a trade you have a counterpart green line to say this is your break even point. As you can see my entry and my break even point are two separate lines as I've included commission. If you didn't include commission this would have been at the same level but everyone deals with commission and this is why you include it as you'll be lulled into a false sense that breaking at the same price you bought at will make mean break even but well and truly you would have lost some profit to commission and the larger your size is the more commission the exchange takes so now let's say if I were to enter into a uh, buyback I can just send this limit here and let's say do a one above here. I want to buy back at these levels and let this play out. So now I've successfully sold that short that stays here and ends at this point. That's where it successfully sold and now no longer needs to track my break even point. And the line below is my entry for long for 10 contracts. As you can see here, this break even point is much lower than the actual price entry. If it was an independent event, my break even point would be here. But since it's tracking my progress throughout the session, it also notes that I have a total PL of 3000 positive. So now if price were to come into this yellow line, I'll be break even. So now I can successfully say if I want to stop myself at this point I'll be net neutral. But let's carry on and see if I can get this to be profitable. For instance let's say I want to sell here and I want to re-enter a short here and we can do that and see if that comes into fruition. Looks like I managed to sell, but not really enter into short. Let's say I'm not happy with the fact that I didn't enter short, so I can just bring this down here. And looks like it only really filled in four. But that's enough to demonstrate my point here. I pause this. As you can see, when it filled in six out of the ten contracts, my break even point was here because my size was less. So I can sit through a lot more loss. 
now that it filled in the rest, my break even point is here because now my position size is the largest point I can handle. Now that's dropped it down to here. So I know if I hit this mark on a short, I lose all the profit I've made for the entire day. So maybe it's not such a wise idea to be in this short, but we'll see. Because again, this is a simulated environment, so I can play with it. This carries on consulting for a bit. And notice that the break even point doesn't change because again, I only entered into that 10 contracts. There we go. Slowly broke down. Now I'm happy with the break here. I can take off that position here. For instance, let's mark it buy back that 10 contracts here. And there we go. That's the point where I close that short. And let's say if I were entering into a market long, let's, just for the sake of it, as you can see, it's much lower than the previous one here. That pretty much covers the break even point indicator. Just have a play around with it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask within the Discord. There are a bunch of friendly people waiting to answer your questions. And other than that, have a lovely day and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.